everybody, welcome to my channel. I am Tracy Reed and this is Acrylic Pouring with Friends. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. If you are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. And uh, if you are not new, um, I really appreciate you coming back to watch more of my videos. <laughs> Alright, so in today's video I'm using a 6x6 um, hexagon canvas and if you've watched any of my recent videos you will know that I have been using the DecoArt Enchanted uh, line of paints and really having some amazing amazing results these are the colors that I've got today the um, blue violet gold and turquoise and um, <clears throat> excuse me and I'm also, as a base coat, I mixed up this really, really pretty metallic-y blue. Um, I don't know what's in it, don't remember, because it was a while ago. Um, it had thickened up a little bit, so I just added a little bit more uh, pouring medium to that. Um, so I'm hoping that that's enough um, for this canvas. It's about three-ish ounces. So we're going to see. Um, and also, get my gloves here at the same time, <laughs> also I'm going to be using my mini blower. And I have had a few questions about my attachments. You can see here I've got, there's three sizes. I've got the middle size one. And this is the one that I mainly use. I don't know if you can see that. Um, it's the most powerful one. It concentrates the air and it moves the most paint around. Um, so that's why I always start with this one. Um, this next one is mainly uh, designed to do like the blowout parts or the like the finishing touches, if you will. And then the little one is for fine detail if you have smaller areas that you need to just kind of blow out a little bit. Um, or even like mini, mini if you were doing like little tiny blooms, these work really good to kind of blow out the center to get that final uh, cell look in the center. It works good for that. So hopefully that answers uh, the questions that some of you may have had. And I will put the link um, to my Etsy shop in the description so you can go check them out if you're interested. All right, so as far as these colors go, I only mixed in about a teaspoon of pouring medium because they're already um, the consistency is already because it's a craft paint so it's it's pretty thin already to start um, and I have to tell you I don't know what it is with the purple today I've spilled it twice so I'm not sure if somebody something's trying to tell me not to use it because um, you can tell it's maybe you can't tell there's less in this cup because I spilled it here <laughs> under here and I also spilled it over there so, um, off camera, you can't see that spill. So, I'm going to try to use it. I'm hoping that uh, it wasn't a sign that I'm not paying attention to. <laughs> but it's so pretty, so I have to use it. Alright, so what I'm just going to start with is just getting this blue uh, on first. And I'm trying a bunch of different things with these enchanted paints just because um, I've had such good results that... Um, I wanted to try, you know, some other colors, and I um, a bubble there. I um, ran out of the the black base, so I'm hoping to get some more soon. And actually, hoping because these paints come in a shimmer as well. I don't know where that bottle of the shimmer is that I have. Um, I'm hoping to get all of the shimmer colors. That way I can do a painting with just the the shimmer because the last one I did, if you missed it, you can go check that last one out too. Um, I only used the, I had the magenta shimmer and you could tell the difference. You can definitely tell the difference. It's extra, extra sparkly. So super, super pretty. And for those of you that haven't tried um, an interference paint, I have to tell you guys, I have used several different brands, and this is by far my favorite. Um, the colors just seem to be uh, more vibrant, and um, I don't know, I'm just really, really um, having uh, 
fun using them. So that's the reason I'm doing another video for you. So I think I'm just going to run this down a bit. I wasn't really going to cover the whole thing because once I start using my mini blower, it'll, um, uh, you know, it'll move the paint around. Alright everybody, here we go with the dried photos and I am having so much fun using these enchanted paints from DecoArt. They are just gorgeous. The colors are so vibrant when they dry. I just love them. I used the blue base for this one and they just pop so beautifully. So I definitely am going to be uh, using more of these paints. I'll be trying some different techniques as well. Alright guys, don't forget to like my video and subscribe to my channel and also share this video if you think someone else may enjoy it. It really does help out my channel and I appreciate it more than you know. And make sure to check out acrylicpouringtools.com for all of your acrylic pouring tool needs. And you're in luck because I have a bunch more videos that I know you will enjoy as well. And I will catch you in the next one.